second track, Girl, You Need a Change of Mind. Now, I love Eddie Kendricks, and the first track from the collective album, which when I was interviewing Junior, he said he asked you to perform, was that Eddie Kendricks track. Tell it, lovers oh, the it's the most beautiful thing in the world, and I can't think of another voice that can actually deliver that and and just uh, this is hero worship stuff. The way you've maintained your voice is amazing. Thank you. Because it's you. it's a you know I mean it's it's an instrument. So well, tell, that's so that's important to me. Yeah, tell yeah. me about the Eddie Kendricks track because it's a rare track for most people. I know, and you know when Junior and I were talking, and he was saying, you know, Lee, uh, there's a track I'd love you to try to do. And it was like he was reading my mind. It was like he was thinking, I mean, this is when I was at school. You know what I'm saying? 1970 yeah. from the Boogie Down album. And it was ironic because one of my best, best mates who now has passed on, he had said to me, you either need to do two tracks and you're going to have a hit with it. It's either Boogie Down mm. or Tell a Lover Felt the Need. And... I thought, yeah, I thought, oh, my God, you know, oh, you know, I don't want to imitate it. I've got to do my own thing, da, 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 whatever. Mm. And he, um, Eddie was an innovative uh, influence to me for many, mm. many years. Because I bought, I love The Temptations, and when he went solo, I really grasped what he was into. And I was living in America at the time, especially when Gullini, The Change of Mind was on, was, was in the clubs. And he'd done an album for call called um, Just By My, I think, By Myself. Just By Myself, By yeah. Myself, yeah. He had a... Uh, Let's go back, read a story about that one. Yeah. Another track, um, Johnny May. This used to be the home mm. of Johnny May. Yeah. He should have a uh, uh, thing of his um, voice. And then the My People On came out, and it was like, yeah, black man, radical, this. You know, it was like uh, yeah. the things like, um, I got a date with the rain. Yeah. Go no, stop it. This isn't fair. Stop it. This isn't fair. <laughs> but that was the, like, these were club classics that people yeah. don't know about. Day with the Rain. And then when Gullin' the Change of Mind kind of seeped through our community, it was like mm. an epic track. Yeah. And, you know, it's like a complete arrangement. It's just like nothing ever has, has you know, it's like... For for that time in the seventies, for me that was one of the things. And in the eighties, it was like Grace Jones, Slave to the Rhythm, as far as yeah. production. But Girl in the Change of Mind had a bit of all these elements, and it wasn't disco because disco hadn't kind of gone in its full swing. It was it was giving you the funk, the brass, the bass, the percussion, the voice. It it to me, it's still a classic, and that's why I have always loved it. And here it is. <laughs> 